Catherine. This turkey tastes half as good as it looks. I think we're all in for a very big treat. <laughs> Save the neck for me, Clark. <laughs> okay, Eddie. <laughs> It's <laughs> like National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. What happened? I don't know what happened. I'm sure it can happen, though. If I'm cooking, anyway. The holidays don't always go according to plan, but even if it's not picture perfect, studies show that having family traditions helps make the holiday season brighter. We have New York Times best-selling author Gretchen Rubin. So I can't really get over what happened to that turkey. I know, but what is it, though, Tony? Did they, was it burnt and you open it up? I'm serious. What was that? <laughs> it was It was overcooked. <laughs> very dry. But what Patty says it was overcooked. Where did okay, it good. I was, I was confused, too. Go ahead. I'm very, it would stay with me. Cook. The image really did stay with me. We have, yeah. best, we have New York Times best-selling <laughs> author Gretchen Rubin to talk about how to hold on to the spirit of the season all year long. Gretchen, thank you for being here. Yay, Gretchen. Yeah. So things can go poorly, yeah. when you, even when you have <laughs> yes. a tradition, yeah. even when you have a plan. But you say it's important to keep those traditions anyway. What, what's the benefit? Absolutely. Research shows that traditions really do bind families together. They allow them to spend more time together. They enjoy it more. They find it more interesting. It allows us to mark the, the passage of time. We can show people, look, you're one of us now because yes. you're going to join in this tradition, <clears throat> whether it's something like doing a giant puzzle or having a special meal. It promotes connection, doesn't it? It really does. And it's unique to your group. It makes you feel is like important. this is what makes us us. And sometimes the things that go wrong make the best memories. Yeah. So that's if you, you, know, you blow up the chicken, that's so, okay. So it's relatively easy to participate in a long-standing tradition. But, you know, there are people now who are maybe hosting for the first time, trying, you're becoming the father, the, the, the leading the, the Christmas, uh, mom doing the same. How do you start? that tradition. How do you go from like, we've never yeah, done yeah, this yeah, yeah, before, yeah. but yeah. now we're going figure yeah. skating. We're, we're, well, new, <laughs> new tradition sounds like an oxymoron, but you can really start them. And, and you know, sometimes it's fun to do it with minor things, the big holidays. Like, like what? Can, well, like the first day of spring or Groundhog Day, or this year, you know, we have Leap Day. You have a family tradition. What are you going to do on Leap Day? It'd be fun to get that going, figure out what are we going to do, and then we can do it from now on. Are there a way to celebrate or create and celebrate family traditions all year long? Right. Well, I think you can look at any of these opportunities where you think, well, what, what's kind of an open space on our ca calendar and how do we make it easy? Like, I like to use food dye, like dye something green, dye something pink um, to make it feel like it's special. And you take a photograph. This is the way we do it. It's special to our family. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be a huge big deal like the major holidays. So many people feel, I think, Gretchen, uh, pressure to be perfect on the holidays. And to that, you say what? Don't let the perfect be the enemy of the good. Yeah. And so now you don't want to be the person who wants everything to be so perfect that you drive everyone crazy. Um, and so to try, if you are one of those people to try to let go of that fantasy of perfection, especially sometimes like if somebody's not there, like they didn't make the trip or maybe they're gone. And so it doesn't feel like it's the right, mm -hmm. you know, things aren't quite right. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you might have to reinvent a holiday um, to make a new a new shape if, if things are changing you in your life. You mentioned the pictures. People are taking yes. pictures constantly yeah. these days, right? But it sounds like you were saying also print it, put it in an album, make it exist in three dimensions, right? Yeah, so research shows that looking at photographs, reminding ourselves of happy times in the past is one of the best time ways to make ourselves happy now. I believe that. Yes. So strongly. Yes. You know what happens when you're taking pictures? They seem annoying. Yes. yes. People say, yes. one more photo. Wait, we didn't get that. Let's try yes. it again. People are moaning and groaning and groaning and, and I was going to say bitching and complaining and complaining. But then you get that picture. And you look at it later, and it's actually fun. Well, and the great thing is now, because most people do it with digital albums, yeah. it's just as easy to make three as it is to make one. So then you can give that. And nothing makes us happier than giving sort of a precious gift. And those photographs, like, they're irreplaceable. If yes. you're the one who took the, the holiday pictures, that's a wonderful gift. I think so, too. What's your advice for using this time to our advantage and not letting it slip away? Because it goes so quickly. You True. know, you put it up, and then before you know it, you're taking it all down. Well, there's a lot of things you can kind of clear clutter as you go. One is um, if there are decorations that you never actually take out, go ahead and give them away. Um, if you uh, notice that you need something, like twinkle lights or candles, well, go ahead and buy them now for the holiday sale. Because they're on sale. They're on sale. Get them for next year. 
it's very discouraging when you see those holiday decorations up for months. I mean, here in New York City, like how late do we see trees on the sidewalk? Um, maybe give yourself a day, like New Year's Eve is the day we're going to take down our holiday decorations. New Year's Eve, you're going to start a controversy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think you've got to go yeah. the weekend, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. give yourself a weekend. Third, fourth, yeah. But, but pick a date. And we say, disagree with New Year's Eve. Yeah. Okay, okay. Take it back. Yeah, yeah, take it back. Um, <laughs> but like just a date, just the way, you know, you have a date when you put them up. Yes. Have a date. Um, because that can sort of drag on. Yeah. And then also when you're um, putting things away, look for opportunities to give things away that you're not okay. using. I like that. All right, Gretchen Rubin, always good to see you. Thanks. In Thank that you. holiday plaid.